with the inception of the Knights, which are the, I guess, the highest level in Leeds, um, there's been a, you know, a big introduction for recreational hockey. There's also the Junior Academy here. Um, so I think there's three or four recreational teams. So by recreation, it means that, that basically anybody who, from whether you've never skated before up to maybe you've played in the past, can, can basically join a team and, and just play. Where the Warriors is set out is there's three different teams. So there's Warriors uh, 3, which is the um, development team, Warriors 2, which sits in the middle, and there's Warriors 1, which is what Alec looks after, which is the more advanced team. It's a sport that requires a lot of precision and a lot of speed, and so it is very, very difficult to, to master, but incredibly satisfying when you do. With a lot of team sports, you can have an environment where it is a sport that is dominated by one individual, but for ice hockey, it's very different. You need all six players that you've got out on the ice. You can't just rely on, oh, you know, that guy's out there. We're good. We can all sit back. No, everyone has to be working at all times. I actually used to play football as a kid. And um, with the way that sport's going at the minute, I just find it kind of slow and boring. Just the sheer speed, the, the little brutality aspect, you know, the just sheer excitement. That kind of got me more involved in the sport. George has always had a, a really good following for ice hockey, especially you know, like these, these um, guys who play over at Sheffield who played now play in the NHL, so it's always been really popular over there. There always seems to be a really good youth development side in Yorkshire. It really brings the sport on, it really does. It also means when they get to this adult age, they've also got experience behind them as well. It sounds really cliche, but it's like a family. Um, just like the laugh and the change of room, you get on the ice and you battle with each other, then you're all mates with each other. It's a great sport, it's fun and it's so inclusive. Yeah. Well, did you start from managing it? Yeah, I've never played. I couldn't even skate when this team started. <laughs> and uh, I got so much hassle about it. I just thought I'd jump on board. I coach the free team as well, which is the development team. So it's nice to see people getting into the sport, even at, like, no matter what sort of age you get into it. It's a sport, like, once you get the bug for it, you kind of just stick with it and it, you learn a lot from it as well. So I'd always recommend hockey to anyone. It's probably the best sport. It's fast, it's edgy, but then afterwards, you have a laugh and joke with everyone. That's the good thing. Is you don't hold too many grudges with her. We're finding the speed more and more every so every game we play. Um, and we're, we're starting to find a real competitive edge with them too, as well. We're all about people getting into the sport. We're always looking to attract players of all levels, but if you're one of those people that sit there thinking, you know what, I'd love to give it a go, then just do it. <laughs>